So personal core values, the why, what, and the how. So why do we have personal core values? Personal core values are at the center of your personality. It's who you are. Once we identify and honor our personal core values, it allows us to truly live an intentional life uh, and free life. Um, when we know, like for me, knowing that my, uh, my lifestyle values are community connection, philosophizing, travel, and family, I've set up my business and my life that way. I don't have an apartment right now because I really want to travel. Uh, I have a lot of free time to think deeply about subjects and build out the team where they allow me to, they can operate it and allow me to think deeply about subjects. Um, I surround myself with community and dive deep into connection with everybody that I speak to, dive deep into community everywhere I travel. And the way I, um, I define family is building out my future family. So becoming the man that attracts that future partner uh, and can build that family with her. Uh, so personal core values, they allow us to navigate our internal landscape better, making it easier to make heart-centered decisions and maintain boundaries with people and things in our life that are not aligned with who we truly are. So is there anybody here that is willing to admit that they're not great at holding boundaries or thank you guys thanks for the vulnerability um <clears throat> this will give us a way to communicate when people are overstepping our boundaries so when we define our values we can define why somebody is overstepping our boundaries so it gives us a language to communicate through too. And that's why it's important to have them documented. So once we know our personal core values, they influence every choice that we make. Um, so how we choose to set up our lives, the time and the people we decide to spend our time and energy on, um, and how we decide to invest our time and energy in our professional lives. So, for example, uh, there was actually a really cool thing. I created this thing called the soul family, uh, where I have 12 people in my life that light my soul up the most. And I picked 12 people because of Jesus's 12 disciples. And it was just kind of like, oh, that's a good number. Sweet. Let's do that. And once I documented the 12 people in my life that light my soul up the most, I realized that they embody every character value that, that, I love and appreciate the most of myself and love and appreciate the most in other people. And I'm like, oh, no duh, they're in my soul family. They align with my, my character values. So it's pretty cool to see that too. Um, and it helps you decide who you wanna spend your time and energy with and who you don't. Um, so. <clears throat> so once we have them defined, it allows us to make decisions from our values instead of uh, being conditioned by what society tells us to think our values are. Like we're going deep to the core and defining it for ourselves. And you're gonna put on different glasses and view life in a totally different way once you've defined your values. Um, <clears throat> essentially, personal core values serve as guiding principles and act as a standard to live up to so that we can become the man we were always meant to become. Does that sound good? So what are personal core values? Well, I put them in three different categories. If you read The Values Factor by Dr. Martini, he basically describes how to create uh, lifestyle values. But there are two other uh, types of values that uh, I've added on to that, being character values and operational values. So typically, we don't fully embody values that uh, we identified initially. So this process helps us identify the gaps in our lives as well, so we can take the action to become the person we want to become. So for example, one of my operational values is be your word. Um, it's not every single second I'm being my word no matter what. So it's something to live up to too. <clears throat> so personal core values define. First one, lifestyle values are tangible activities in life that fill you up with the most love and joy. 
You're lit up. Uh, uh, you are lit up the most when you engage in these activities. So you want to make them more tangible. Some people put down like freedom for this, but you can't really, that's not really a tangible activity. So if you think of, uh, if one of your things is freedom, then think about like those activities where you feel the most free, right? Um, <clears throat> and that will help you determine your lifestyle values. So then character values are the character traits that you love the most in yourself and other people. You get lit up when you're around these people and these character traits, and you're lit up when you embody these character traits yourself. And then last but not least is operational values. So I had operational values uh, for my business, but I didn't have them for my personal life. Uh, when I was running my last business. And that's one thing that I really want to change in the world is that people define their values for themselves and have operational values for themselves, not just their business, because your life is way more important than your business, no matter what. Um, <clears throat> so we'll talk a little bit more about that uh, while we go through how to identify your core lifestyle character and operational values. But what have you guys taken away so far? You can put it in the chat or feel free to hop off mute. We've got a little bit of time for that. But I need to start writing some stuff down. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I right, love that's one of my biggest flaws, man. Like I want to do so much. I want to journal and everything like that. Um, and I struggle greatly with time management. So uh, hopefully the air table is going to help me. Mm -hmm. that. like today like i just dropped mom off on like a doctor's appointment and stuff but like i gotta figure out how i can set a certain amount of time so i can write stuff down i can write down my values and actually dive deep into me you know what i mean mm -hmm. so. <laughs> i love it dude yeah the to-do list um uh air table tab will really help because you get to see how much time all your stuff is going to take and what you want to remove and what you want to replace. And then also uh, really clarifying the vision in the visionary table uh, tomorrow. It's going to be amazing for that. I love that. Um, and then you talked about documenting more. I've been, uh, I love YouTube. Like I go to YouTube to research stuff, learn stuff, all of that. I was watching some interviews with, with billionaires on there and uh, like older billionaires. And um, some of, there were two people, their regret was not documenting more in their life. Like I found that to be fascinating that they wish they had documented more earlier in life. And it's kind of like our fossil record that we leave this planet. If we document more and we have this beautiful technology now, then, um, uh, then we remember more, we can share more. It's just so much better. Um, I love it. I'm going to go through these. Ryan, love the distinction in the three types of values and the process, how to find them. Thank you. I love it. Definitely see that I didn't listen to myself 100%. I, same here. Um, I get to dive deeper into the intentions and thought of my very existence. I love that. That's exactly what we're doing here, Michael. Uh, Pete, I'm resisting this. Seems very left brain. I operate so well in that space. Um, it's my heart space that I'm scared of. Oh, we're gonna do breath work uh, um, tomorrow. Um, so that will help you get into your heart space. And from my own experience, the more I tap into that, the, the more I attract in from life um, and the more I feel like I'm in flow with life. So thank you for the vulnerability, Pete. And lifestyle values just got furious because I don't listen to them 100%. Marcus need to create personal values in my life so I can establish my boundaries and bumpers. I love it. And Blake, 
reminder of the ideal when I'm falling from grace, 100%. Yeah, it's here to catch you. Uh, I love that. Okay, so let's go into how to identify your core lifestyle character and operational values. Now, I'd love for you guys to set aside an hour, um, either tonight or tomorrow, and um, start documenting these. They don't need to be perfect at first. Um, you just want to start documenting these. What I recommend, and I think I mentioned it here, is that you want to get out of your head more and more into flow. So that might be for you uh, uh, working out, might be breath work, might be meditation, but we want to get more into our body, more into our heart when we're creating our values, um, because that's when they're going to be true and authentic instead of overthinking it. And another piece of this is, is brain dumping. So whatever comes to mind is exactly what's supposed to come to mind. So when you're brain dumping your values at first, just whatever comes to mind, you write it down. It's just brain dump. And then we can work back from there. So personal core values come from our heart, not our head. Our values will change as we grow, but uh, they always come from the same source, our heart. Uh, the more we experience and the more we learn from our experiences, the closer we get to what we truly value and what we want out of life. Just doing more in life and taking that imperfect action um, and collecting more data points in life will help us refine our value values of what we truly want. So go out there and take the action as well. And your values will change. For me, like... I've been traveling so much and um, uh, just experiencing different cultures that my values have shifted from just taking the action and traveling and seeing more of life. Um, and a little side note, if that's cool. Is it cool if I share a little side note from my travels? Yeah, okay. Um, I've been in really nice places and I've been in uh, low income communities like in Baja, Mexico and in Morocco and, and those sorts of places. And they were happy as hell, like a lot of them. And what I realized is that true happiness is just a combination of three things. It's community, having people around us that love us and support us. It's connection, being able to dive deeply with those people and it's purpose. Like these people didn't have much money, but they brought purpose to their work. They were making a difference and they were grateful for having that work and making that difference. And I feel like, especially in American society, we get caught up in the money and all of that, which provides freedom and safety, but true happiness is community connection and purpose. So just my two thoughts. Um, all right. So step number one in creating your personal core values is putting an hour on your calendar. And I recommend doing that right now, whether that's tonight or tomorrow morning to create version one of your personal core values. Then you want to find a comfy spot where you feel totally relaxed and can get into your body. And what you want to do first is create just a brain dump of every value that you can think of. Um, try, tap into the heart and try to start with the ones that like just some will come to mind really quick, some will come to mind slow. There's going to be a point in doing this exercise where you're like, oh, I can't think of any more. That's the perfect time to keep writing and just keep writing, 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 and more will come out. Um, so don't let your brain inhibit what your hand wants to do or your heart wants to do. Just, uh, just keep going, keep writing. And then you want to group the values that overlap. So for example, you might have excellence, growth, and achievement, and you just want to put them in a group together, which might be making a little note by it or a star or different symbols saying these kind of go together. Um, then once you've done that, you want to trim the list down to 15 values and categorize them. So from that list, you want to take five lifestyle values, 
five character values. And with the operational values, they're slightly different. So your operational values will need to be expanded upon. So for example, if one of your values is honesty, uh, that can be a character value, or you can choose it to be your operational value, uh, which would, make, uh, when you change it, it would make it an operational value of like be your word. So I don't have honesty in one of my character values. It's kind of embodied in uh, another value that I have in my character values by one in my operational values. <clears throat> so I changed it to be your word. Does that make sense? Um, then you want to define each of your values. So you want to give it a brief disc description to give it a little bit more breadth and uh, expand upon it so you know exactly what you mean when it comes down to that value. And then I added Airtable.com here, um, but you have the link at the top here to download this into your uh, Life Mastery Challenge app. Um, what I recommend is use whatever you like to use. If you want to type them out, awesome. If you want to write them out, awesome. Either one works, whatever works best for you. And then once you have um, the 15 values, pop them in the uh, Life Mastery Challenge app so you'll have that forever and it doesn't get lost. And then uh, what I recommend is revisiting your personal core values. Um, uh, and what I do is I have a journal inside of my Life Mastery app that I select each day what value I want to live by. So each day I'm going through my values and then I'm selecting one that I really want to embody today. So if you can set up a system where you um, are going back and reflecting on these values, they'll really install into you if you're reflecting back on them every single day. And one of my favorite quotes, we need to be reminded more than we need to be taught. Just about doing the simple things that work over and over and over. Awesome. And we have some examples down here. They're also in, uh, in the link up above. So you can check those out. 